Okay, it's Thursday morning, starting the morning off right, 7.48, need some OJ. All right, there's the vanilla. It's 10.14, I've had orange juice only up until this point. I have 18 dates. This is the end of my box. Today's gonna be the day. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some bananas. Hopefully they have some at Costco or else. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to just overpay for them at, at another place, maybe. So anyway, got my vanilla in there. I guess I need one. Always missing something. All right. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm hungry. I've seen this uh, scene quite a bit. It never gets old to me. Sorry if it gets old to you. <laughs> and again, I always keep those for the next one. Hey guys, so right before nap time, I actually was eating some carrots and making my next Daterade which uh, desperately needs to be shaken up right now, but I'm not, I'm actually not going to drink it right now. Um, I'm going to take care of some things, but I just want to let you know, my phone was actually being used for white noise <laughs> for the baby. Okay, it's almost three o'clock and I've got to move on. Can't help it. I actually already had a piece of sourdough bread. <laughs> and so I was trying to just rely on the juice and the Daterade still. Daterade just wasn't, turning me on anymore. Juice I'm still drinking. But I just needed some other flavors. So got the good salsa out here. Just gonna liberally apply. <laughs> got the beans down there somewhere, beans and rice. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's 8.13. Friday night, you know. Uh, have another bowl of salad. And rice. I'll beat you in chess. Okay, totally munching on a tortilla too. Okay, with some extra, or with it. I was losing like some stuff. This is not the same without good salsa. Makes all the difference. I've been meaning to talk to you guys about my changes in my diet. Um, but I didn't really want to talk about them too much before I enacted them. You may have noticed that what I've been eating for dinner has changed a little bit. And so for starters, I, I love the alliterations. I was trying to, you know, do Mexican Monday, Tato Tuesday, Wacky Wednesday, you know, Ethnic Thursday, Fajita Friday, Super Saturday, Slicey Saturday, Soupy, who knows what the possibilities are endless, but it's kind of fun to always have a few ideas in mind for each day, just so you can get in a routine. It takes the um, all the planning out of it. If you can just get in a good routine to where you know what's on your grocery list and can save you a lot of time. And also, you know, if you get in the habit of eating the same thing, I think the engine two people, the, that movie taught me, you know, people actually really only have a rotation of about six or seven meals on average that they fall back on. So I realized, you know, I need to just basically pick what I like the best, which I realized it's always I can eat fajitas. I mean, obviously, I go to I go to Chili's all the time, and I always get the same thing. If it's a wrap and it's tasty and it's got the veggie stuff in there and rice and beans, like I will eat the shit out of it. So, and I just realized that, like, why not have it almost every day? Why not have and see what I I realized that, and in my thinking, I'm like, okay, well, I'll start making it, but I just didn't have enough of the perfect ingredients to make it gourmet. So I was cheating myself because I was trying to spread myself thin and worry about all those other meals. So I realized if this is what I really love, just make sure you have ample ingredients for this all week. And so what it is, it turns out to be, I call it B&B, burrito bowl. 
You'll see me hashtag it, the burrito bowl. Um, I used to have the banana bowl. This is my current obsession, and um, it's a really good way for me to stay mostly raw at dinner, and I just love it um, because I'm not even basing my meal. If I, if I want to base my meal on rice, I will base my meal on rice and eat a shit ton. But if I'm putting it all in a salad, I get enough carbs, but I also am filling my belly up with a abundance of great salad. And the thing with salad is it's the most important vegetable. It's the only vegetable I even think about anymore, honestly. And um, you do want to eat it with other things so it can be digested. You don't need overt fats necessarily. People say you have to have overt fats. It's good to eat it with other things, I think. that. Anyway, just the act of making a big salad. And if I want to, if it needs to be a little bit more substantial, I listen to my body and I throw a tortilla wrap on there. Just throw it all together. And I, I was telling you guys in um, a What I Eat video, it's uh, the salsa, you know, really makes a difference. Usually the cilantro really makes a difference. So you don't need to add a bunch of different spices. These are just fresh ingredients. Hey guys, okay, so I'm actually walking out the door. I have absolutely no time to film this. I'm late. A little bit. Not really. Bye, Rob. Stay. Okay. So we're going to pick up a friend. Guys, get the paper. Throw, up, throw the paper up here. Go get the paper. How many more times can I say? So we're going to ice skate. And I was like, what did I bring? I took too long. Get on the I'm talking. I'm like, getting ready. And um, my bowling shoes. I might need those later. So uh, thankfully, I have this theater aid left over. I'm really scared because I don't have any dates left. What am I going to do? Where's my keys? All right. Where's your coat? Why is it in your bag? Because you never know. That, that makes my side look. Hey guys, so I'm outside of Costco, just got done ice skating, and uh, I'm going to go in and see if they have any bananas, because I know that I need to plan ahead and let some bananas get ripened up over the weekend. And even, I need something to eat right now. So hence the carrots are hopefully going to tide me over enough to not 
buy everything in this store. <laughs> we'll see. I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, guys, so back at home, obviously, and I really should have eaten something before I went in there, but I'm actually really proud of how I did. I did pretty good. This is the Costco part of the haul. I get these uh, animal crackers for the kids. Got, I was going to get three juices, decided. I might not have enough fridge to hang, so I just got two. Uh, we go for the Halos. They're not organic, but they're non-GMO, so I got three bags of those just because they go so incredibly fast over here, and I really don't like having them at the store all the time. So I got 15 pounds of Halos. Um, these are just so good for backups. I haven't had them for a really long time. Actually, I haven't been to Costco for a long time in general. Hey, Rock. So got some of those and some of the figs. They last forever. You can take them with you on holidays, that sort of thing. Um, had to get some mixed veggies. I'm not sure if I have any of those or not. Got some broccoli I don't usually get too much of. Let's clean that up. Got some boys some pineapple and me maybe too. It's uh, not organic, but I don't believe it's on like the dirty dozen. I might want to double check about that. Um, this is new. I haven't seen this at my, uh, my one. So I'm kind of excited about that, even though it's only a little three pounder. So there's that. It's all the frozen. And then I got some bananas. I used to get like a whole case, which would be like 14 or 12. This is only 10 um, bunches of bananas. So 10 times three, 30 pounds of bananas. And uh, it's a pretty good price. These are about $2 each. So three times 10. 20 bucks for 30 pounds of bananas. It's pretty damn good. Doesn't really get any uh, cheaper than that. So uh, that's what I got from Costco. And then I wanted to see, like, my uh, health food store is actually getting, they've got bought out. So I'm um, worried. I haven't seen my uh, tie wraps anymore. So I kind of wanted to get just one last tie wrap, um, even though they're so fattening. But um, I, they don't have them. They haven't had them. I don't know what the heck's going on, if they're phasing them out or what. So maybe all those times that I shouldn't have had it will have to be my last. So I got some salad, two heads, just to get me. I probably won't mess with that too much until the beginning of the week. Um, just because I got this today. And I am going to eat here. We're going to Chili's, of course, tonight. Um, and it's 3.30. And I probably don't need to eat all this, but I'm just going to eat a little bit of this and bring it with me. So I have some food. I love to put the fruit on the top, eat the fruit first, and then, um, you know, all sorts of veggies in here. I've been eating these quite a bit. In fact, I get them to put on top of the salad. But um, it's obviously just as good to eat just by itself. And um, I usually just put a tiny bit of balsamic and some kind of a juice, like a lemon or a lime juice, on there. So there's that. And then I also had to get some, well, I had to stock up on salsa. Um, they used to have ingredients on here, and it did not include, um, excuse me, did not include salt. So, like I said, I'm still not sure if they might have changed it, but, oh, I had some more carrots on the way home. So like I said, I'm just starving. That's why I had to get all this to-go food. They had a, um, they have a vegan chili, which we've tried a bunch. That's what that is. And then I also, like, this is how bad I get when I go out and I'm hungry. I just can't spot with them. I need all of this now. Even I'm going to Chili's in a couple of hours. We all know I need to eat, and I really actually haven't eaten that much. So that's my excuse. This is a Thai vegan soup, vegetable soup. So I'm going to snack on these. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I will talk to you later. Right now, it's eating time, baby. So let's try this Thai soup real fast. Look how good that looks. Carrots, marmots. The ingredients were listed. Oh, I did not tell you that I got the organic no salt seasoning. This is absolutely my favorite seasoning. I honestly am not a seasoner and I put it on everything. Everything. So when I didn't have it, it was kind of a bit like, what? How do I cook? <laughs> I don't know what's going on.